Today on Running to Him. Abiyah defeated the heretic breakoff King Jeroboam. We need to remain strong and defeat those who are against Christ. Today we will read Second Chronicles chapters 11 through 15 and concentrate on chapter 13 verses 8 through 12. Second Chronicles 13, 8 through 12 says, So now you intend to resist the kingdom of the Lord through the stones of David, being a great multitude, and having you drilled the calves, which Jeroboam made gods for you. Have you not driven out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and made yourself priests like the peoples of the other lands? Whoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bull and seven rams, even may he become a priest of whatever no gods. But it is for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. And the sons of Aaron are ministering to the Lord as priests, and the Levites attend to their work. Every morning and every even, they burn to the Lord burnt offerings and fragrant incense. And the showbread is set on the clean table, and the golden lampstand with its lamps are ready to light every evening. For we keep the charge of the Lord our God. But you have forsaken him. Now behold, God is with us at our head, and his priests with the signal trumpets to sound the alarm against you. O sons of Israel, do not fight against the Lord God of your fathers, for you will not succeed. An interesting side note is found in chapter 11, verses 14 through 17. The chronicler writes, For the Levites left their pasture lands and the property and came to Judah and Jerusalem, for Joab and his sons had excluded them from serving as priests of the Lord. And he set up priests for zones for the high places, for the sacrifices, and for the calves which he had made. Those from all the tribes of Israel who set their hearts on seeking the Lord God of Israel followed them to Jerusalem to sacrifice to the Lord God of their fathers. They strengthened the kingdom of Judah and supported Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, for three years. For they walked in the way of David and Solomon for three years. The Levitical priests who resided in the tribes who broke off with Judah left those tribes and returned to Judah to continue ministering to the temple. This action resulted in a lack of worship of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in those tribes. Now in our story, Abijah conceived of his father Rehoboam and at once wanted to fight the ten break-off tribes, but God prevented him. Later, Jeroboam, the king of the break-off tribes, conspired to attack Judah and was defeated. But I'd like to review what Abiyah told Jeroboam just before the battle. First, Abiyah reiterated that he was the king over the tribes that had been given to David and Solomon. There were people from the ten tribes that didn't follow Jeroboam in his rebellion. Next, Jeroboam was reminded that the temple that Solomon built was still functioning in Jerusalem and that it was Jeroboam who was the apostate. Jeroboam had created priests from people of other lands and they worshipped a god who was no god. Finally, Abijah warned Jeroboam that he would be defeated if he came to fight against Judah. Now today, we as a nation are in a similar circumstance. Those who hold the traditional Judeo-Christian understanding of the scriptures stand against the break-off wing of religious heretics, espousing numerous heretical theories and theology. Their gods are not gods. They are deluded in thinking that they control the world and that they can determine their fate. They are leading the unsuspecting down this primrose path into debauchery and death. Even those who are learned support a dystopian view of reality where good is considered evil and evil is seen as good. Christians need to pray that we can remain strong in our beliefs and pass them on to our children and acquaintances who do not have a relationship with God through Christ. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come quickly. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.